Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about how to find your style. I've also recently watched Ashley from Best Dress video, so I will link that down below. She makes quite a few fair comments and some things I might touch on here, um, sort of elaborate on some of the stuff that she mentioned in her video too. So um, I'm just gonna get straight into the video basically. So we'll go, we'll start off with the first thing that I personally think is really important, especially when it comes to establishing your style, and that is determining, determining. <laughs> that is to determine your body shape. I think it's really important to dress to your body shape. And when I say that, I don't mean all the time. I mean, take it loosely, but you need to understand your body shape and understand that not everything is gonna work for you. Um, me personally, I'm a pear shape, so all the sort of styles that I really, really love and struggled to let go of, all of those straight silhouettes that just go straight up and down and drape really beautifully off bodies and all that sort of stuff, it just does not work for my body shape. I've got hips and a big bum and it just isn't going to drape on me the way that I it will drape on someone else that necessarily doesn't have hips if that makes sense um it doesn't mean that you can't dress like that if you want to dress like that you are more than welcome to dress like that but it just won't look the same there are definitely cuts of design and things like that that work better for different body shapes and i really think you can tell the difference when you are dressing for your body for me personally i've really come to terms with it and really embraced it recently and I do get a lot of compliments and people say, oh wow, you look so great and have you lost weight or whatever it is. And I really couldn't care less if I've lost weight or not and it's got nothing to do with size. For me, it's just got to do with just complimenting the right parts of your bodies, the body that you want, the parts of your body that you want to show off and the parts that are, you know, good assets for you. So for me personally, my small waist is what I want to show off. So I will wear everything that's high-waisted it has to stop at my waist i can't wear anything that's low-waisted it just doesn't feel comfortable for me anymore and because i'm pear-shaped i'm really small on top so i like to wear baggier things on top and tuck it in so that it really sort of gives me the illusion of having broader shoulders so that it almost pairs up and matches up with how wide my hips are um that just that's just like basically what I do personally for being a pear shape, but it is really important to find your body shape and just dress to it. And when I say that, I mean dress to it loosely. Like there are so many times where I dress in like a really baggy t-shirt and it's I'm not cinching in my waist at all. And it's not the most flattering shape, but I'm really comfortable and I could not care less. So the first thing that I would say when it comes to determining your style would be find out what body shape you are so that you are aware of what you need to what's the word i'm looking for uh what you need to complement and what you need to try and like exaggerate so for me i complement my waist and i exaggerate my shoulders i try and make my shoulders look bigger and i try and get the uh, attention away from my hips. So anything that just glides over my hips, everything that's A-line and loose fitting around the bottom is perfect for me, basically. But I do wear tight-fitted stuff too, so it's, this is what I mean by follow it loosely. Um, the second tip that I have when it comes to following, well, not following, what am I about? When it comes to finding your style, is knowing the difference between stylish and fashionable and determine which you want to be. There is a really, really big difference between being stylish and being fashionable and you kind of need to find out what you like about it. So being stylish is, it's a timeless thing. When you've got a style and you're stylish, you're not necessarily following trends. You're dressing in a way that you're confident in, you're comfortable in, and it complements your body shape, that's when you're dressing stylishly. I think when you're fashionable, you are all about the trends, you're all about what's the latest trend, basically, what's the latest trend, what's new in, um, all of the big sort of like 
it's basically what's happening now and it's very very fast paced so it's very fast fashion being fashionable is yeah it's it's just basically constantly changing your wardrobe all the time every time a new trend comes in you're buying into it it's really quite expensive sort of bleh, quite expensive and bad for the environment being fashionable if i'm totally honest with you because we all know that the fashion industry is the second largest most polluting so i'm gonna push for being stylish guys um which obviously is um i think everyone really wants at the moment i think everyone wants to be stylish in the sense that you don't want to have to constantly be bored or worry about your wardrobe or feel like you're missing out on the latest trends or you're not in style like you want to always look good and I really do think that fashion has the power to make people feel like that it really does have to make it has the power to make you feel good and I know that for me personally when I'm in an outfit that I'm really feeling and I know it's complementing my body shape I'm really comfortable it looks good I feel good it gives me the confidence so I really do think that it's it's better to invest in a style and finding your style rather than worrying about trends because trends come and go so it really doesn't matter if you pick up on the latest one or the one that was like two or three years ago because it's probably going to come back around anyway so it really doesn't matter which takes me to um my third tip which is something that ashley from best dress also mentioned which is research <laughs> I personally have a, um, let me get it up actually, I'll screen record it as well. Because you can obviously save things now on Instagram, which is great. And I do have like a whole little section. It's not got a lot on there, I'll be totally honest with you. But I do have like a section on Pinterest and a little section on Instagram as well of style inspired, just things that I really like. If I ever come across an account or an outfit that I really, really like on interest, in, on interest. <laughs> it's a mix of Instagram and Pinterest, by the way. <laughs> if I ever find an outfit that I really like on Pinterest or on Instagram, I save them, something that I can then look back on. So I think it's really good to have that. And I think it's good to focus on the outfit like Ashley said, rather than the person and the image, just look at the outfit and see if it's what you like. Um, don't compare yourself to all of these crazy accounts out there. She she did a great little combo about that. Um, but yeah, I do go on Pinterest and Instagram and save outfits that I like. And um, I then do look back and determine what is the common denominator if that's the right word in all of them so what's what is it in every single image that is consistent that I consistently like and um I've really really determined and like fine-tuned the kind of things that I personally look for when it comes to clothing and my style so for me personally I have to be comfortable I cannot stand when I'm not comfortable. I really, really, I'm just, I'm just not about that life anymore. I'm not about those six inch heels that you literally are, I mean, I've got nerve damage from my toes from stupidly wearing stuff like that and I'm just not doing it anymore. I'm not gonna put myself through that kind of pain. It's just not worth it. So I'd rather just go for a lower heel one that I know I'm not going to have to take flats to change out into because I can't handle being in them all night. So for me, comfort is a really, really big thing in fashion and in my style. And you need to determine what it is that you want in your style and determine those big things that are like a sort of big no deal if it doesn't have. So for me, I really, really like comfort, obviously. I like anything that's high-waisted, that cinches in at my waist. I'm really into the mix of loungewear and sort of smart casual. So I'm all about, you know, mixing up trackies with shirts, wearing like nice sort of feminine or girly outfits and maybe sort of boying them up or tomboying them up with some trainers or grunging them up a bit with some Doc Martens or just giving them a bit more of like a 
a flare and edge because for me personally I don't I don't lean towards the girly sort of fashion it doesn't feel right for me I've always been a bit of a tomboy a bit more in touch with my manly side and I like to incorporate that into my fashion. So I do like having a bit more of a masculine sort of touch in with my fashion. Not all the time, sometimes it is very subtle. Sometimes it's just about the way I carry myself when I'm in the outfit that gives that sort of masculine vibe, but it does always incorporate into it. I really do feel myself more when it has a bit of a masculine vibe, whether it's slightly andro androgynistic or not. Um, but yeah, definitely do your research, find what it is you're looking for and determine what it is that you really want from all of your outfits. And then that takes me to step four, which is a wardrobe clear out. <laughs> I did do one recently and I recorded it and put it up on my YouTube channel. So I will link it up above if you want to go and watch that. Um, but I think it is so important to do this quite regularly and just go through your wardrobe and clear it out and try everything on and make sure that you know everything still fits that you're not holding on to anything for old time's sake or you're giving it a, another go or like you're giving it a chance but you haven't worn it yet so just get rid of things that just aren't doing it for you that don't work for your shape that do not flatter you that don't sit in with this new sort of thing that you're looking for i really think once you've done your research and you have those words those those things are the must-haves for your wardrobe if it doesn't fit in with that then get rid of it do not keep it just get rid of it when i say get rid of it please donate it or you know just do the whole family rounds don't know if anyone else does that but <laughs> me and my family whenever um we're throwing clothes away. It goes all around my whole family and everyone gets the pick of what they want before it goes to like a charity shop. Um, so I've been brought up with hand-me-downs, absolutely love it. Really believe in like, you know, reju reduce, reuse, recycle. So get it out there, see if any friends wanna use it, just give it a new home because there's no point in it wasting space in your wardrobe when you could have something else that you're gonna use a hell of a lot more in there. So just really clear out your wardrobe and define what you don't want in there and try everything on and, and just, yeah, just make sure it fits, make sure that you love everything in your wardrobe. This isn't going to happen overnight, guys. This is something that's gonna take a long time. Uh, I'm still refining my wardrobe. I haven't got anywhere near where I want to be with it, but I know where I wanna go. I know the end goal and I'm, slowly getting there and I'm enjoying the journey. I'm, you know, it's nice to be conscious of my purchases rather than just panicking last minute because you've got a night out and, oh, for God's sake. Because you've got a night out and you don't have a new dress or you want a new dress. So you just impulse buy and it's not really something you like, but it will do for the night and then you never wear it again and it's just in your wardrobe. There's no point in those sort of things. So just really take your time with your wardrobe. And um, that takes me to step five. Because alongside clearing out your wardrobe, you want to create the dream list. So... This is something that you will be constantly adding to. It's basically like a bookmark or whatever you want to call it, a dream list basically, that you can go back to and refer when you are maybe doing purchases or when you are going on a shopping trip, maybe you look back on your list to determine what it is that you're missing from your wardrobe. So you basically want to fine tune your wardrobe when you clear it out and then figure out what it is that you're missing. So using the mood boards that you create from your research, determine what it is that you're missing. So for me personally right now, I haven't got any plain t-shirts. I am looking for like a really nice, ever so slight drop shoulder, just plain white t-shirt that I can get in white, black and gray. Um, I need it to be ever so slightly loose, but not too loose and to be the right length, I want it to be the right kind of cotton, it's, I want it to be nice and soft but breathable, not too thick that I can't really wear in the summer, but not too thin that it does nothing for me in the winter, so 
it is really difficult to find the perfect t-shirt. And uh, I laugh at this now because it was a comment that one of my lecturers made during uni was how difficult it was to design the perfect t-shirt. And um, yeah, now I get it. <laughs> so definitely make a list and make a list of everything that's missing in your wardrobe and be really, really strict with it. Don't just add a load of crazy things. You kind of want your style and your wardrobe to just basically all fit in and just entwine together and work well. Um, that's my dream. I literally dream of having a wardrobe that I could just open up and like aimlessly not even have to think about putting a wardrobe, uh, about putting a outfit together and it just looks good. That's my dream. So I really think it's important to fine tune and just be really considerate about it. Don't make any rash decisions. And um, yeah, make a dream list. So just take your time with it. It's a journey. We need to remember that this is a journey. This is not a quick fix. This is something that you're gonna have to constantly work on. It's something that you are going to make mistakes about. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna win and lose in this. You're gonna pull an outfit together and it's gonna look great and you're gonna put an outfit together and it's gonna look absolute trash and you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna make purchases that you think are a good idea and then realize that you never wear it and it was an awful idea. Um, so it is a learning curve. It's not going to happen overnight. So just take your time with it and enjoy it. Enjoy finding your style because it, it is fun. It's um, it's a scary first leap, but it's fun once you're in it and once you just invest in it. <laughs> um, that gives me to, yeah, six basically, which is give yourself time. And create a list. So yeah, basically give yourself time. So like I said, this is a journey. And when I mean giving yourself time, I don't mean just about how long it is gonna take for you to build up your wardrobe. I also mean when you make purchases, for example, come home and try it on with loads of outfits in your wardrobe. Try and see how many outfits you can make with that purchase that you've just made. See if it really does fit in with everything else in your wardrobe, if you're gonna get a lot of usage out of it, if you're not, and determine if it's something that was, if it was a smart purchase, basically. Just determine whether you really do need it and if it's actually gonna make a good you know, whether it's gonna make a good impact on your wardrobe or not. So I think take your time with items and really consider it, come home when you do buy any things and just try it on with stuff and see how many outfits you can make and all that sort of stuff. I think it's really important. I also think, oh God, I wanna sneeze. <coughs> Does anyone else always have to sneeze twice? I can never sneeze just once. Where was I? Yeah, take your time. So yeah, Ashley mentioned in her video, which I thought was a really good point as well, another good point that she made, was practice makes perfect. And that's so true. Like if you are getting up in the morning and you're just throwing on outfits, you're not really giving yourself the time to put an outfit together, it's not always gonna be a win. Um, whenever you've got a spare time rather than you know just sitting in bed watching that series which i know that i do you can whack the series on in the background and watch it from afar whilst you try outfits on and make like a you know like a just a mental image of things that look well together you can spend the sunday evening planning out your outfits for the week or whatever it is just just like practice it basically, just practice putting outfits together, see what works, see what doesn't work. Like stylists that do it as their profession, they're great at it because they spend those times. Like when you watch, for example, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, personal fan, hate me or love me for it, I really don't care. I, It's not even a guilty pleasure. I enjoy watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Um, but in Keeping Up With The Kardashians, <laughs> you can see when Kim has those, you know, she has like clothing fits and her stylist comes over with a ridiculous amount of clothing and she tries on all these outfits before she goes away on holiday or wherever she's going. And they don't show 
obviously because it would probably be quite boring and a really long process but they don't so show that whole whole process of her trying on outfits and I can reassure you that there are going to be outfits that the stylist puts together and it just doesn't work in your head it might look like a completely different thing but in in physical form it's just not right so you really need to take that time as well like if you're serious about wanting to just dress for yourself and just be a bit more confident with it or just dress a bit better or finding your style you're gonna have to put some practice in you are gonna have to spend some time playing dress up we all did it as kids well now we can do it as adults and take it a little bit more um less disney more rock the street looking like a boss um so yeah just take the time to invest in your wardrobe, take the time to try on your clothes, to see what works, what doesn't work, and just play around with it. And just try things that you might not necessarily think of or think would go together. Just just play around. You're not leaving the house or anything. You're literally in your bedroom trying clothes on and just seeing what works. You could come up with a killer outfit that you just would never have even thought of putting together by just layering things and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, give yourself time to play around, to build on your outfits to build on your wardrobe, all of it. Just give yourself time. And then my final point with finding a style is do it for yourself. It's as simple as that. I think fashion can be so good and it can also be so damaging. And when you are doing it for the gratification of other people or for the approval of other people, it's not fucking worth it. You need to do it for yourself. You are going to get people that say that they don't like your outfit and you're gonna get people that say that they like it. So if you like it, that's all that matters. Like you're gonna get a lot of negative comments as well as positive ones. So just feel yourself, like who cares what other people think? If you're not sure about an outfit and you're not 100% feeling yourself and you're not doing it for yourself, the minute you hear a negative comment, that is going to stick and you are literally gonna probably Never wear that outfit again, feel shit about yourself and constantly dwell and repeat that comment over and over and over again in your head. And you just don't need to do that. So that is why you need to do it for yourself because who cares if, oh, I can't even think of a name. Who cares if that person thinks that your shoes are shit or your dress has got a horrible print or the color doesn't quite work. Like who gives a shit if you're doing it for yourself you like it and you feel like a boss, you feel confident, they're not gonna question you, trust me. They'll just be like, oh, it's just not for me. Well, it's for me, so I don't give a fuck. So yeah, just dress for yourself and just have fun with it. And those are pretty much the tips that I have for finding your style. So <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. I really do. And I'll see you next week with another one. Um, yeah, make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe too, because it really helps my channel out, and leave a comment down below with any other tips that you might have with your styling journey, anything that really helped you or whatnot. It would be really great to share and grow on this little community. So yeah, I'll see you next week, guys, with another one. Thanks. Bye.